Well, good morning. I am so excited to be with you this morning. I can hardly contain my excitement. I have requested to be uh, permitted to speak on this day, May 7th, for a specific reason. I believe the Lord has given me an instruction to release a prophetic word to you who are joining this broadcast. I'm so excited to do that. Let me first uh, share with you that seven years ago on this date, the Lord showed me a vision and gave me some words regarding the rock and the ministries of the rock. Now, seven years ago, I heard this word, I recorded it, and I did share it with Pastor Jerry and our leadership team. But I have never shared this word publicly until today. And it's because the Lord has instructed me that the seven year cycle uh, from that time period to now is a cycle that he's closing up and he's about to release this reality to become manifest on the earth. You know, so often we forget that the truth about prophecy is this, that we know in part and we prophesy in part. And what that means is, as human beings, we hear words from the Lord. We are inspired by God to speak many times, uh, but we don't always understand the full ramifications of that word or how it will play out. Um, so the reality of this word that was released to me seven years ago, I am so excited because I see the Lord giving me more parts of this prophecy and in fact, giving me a timing to share it. Let me uh, slow down a minute. Be, and let you know, first of all, I'm, I'm going to share the word in just a few minutes. But before I do, I want to share some passages of scripture to give you context of what I'm saying, what the Lord has spoken, and how this impacts you, as well as uh, give you a picture of where I was when I heard this word. So to do that, I'm going to uh, ha- tell you, let's turn together to Matthew 16. In, in the chapter in chapter 16 of the book of Matthew, there's a passage starting at 13, where Jesus comes to the region of Caesarea Philippi. So we're going to read that together, but let me just tell you this. Seven years ago, I was standing in Caesarea Philippi, and the Lord just began to open up my eyes, my spiritual eyes, so pictures in my heart to just see and understand some things about what would come for the rock. You know, again, a prophetic word speaks of things often that are coming in the future. So although when I was seeing them, I was very excited, frankly, thinking this is now and very excited that I was going to be walking in that then. But it hasn't fully uh, been manifested. And I'm so excited because I'm telling you that year after year, I'd say every other year or so, this word would be brought to my attention by the Holy Spirit. I would then take that word and remind Pastor Jerry of it by sending it back to him and just uh, letting him know I still believe this word that the Holy Spirit was reminding us of it. We have always believed these to be true words of the Lord. But at this year, in this very unique time frame that we're in, the Lord has brought it to me and I believe instructed me to come out on May 7th and declare this word and that he would back it with the power of God and release it, making it manifest in your life and in the life of all of those connected in some way to the ministries that flow out of the rock or solid lives. So let me begin by looking at this passage with you. Matthew 16, starting at verse 13, says, When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist some Elijah and others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Verse 17, Jesus answered and said to him, blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter and on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Verse 19, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Let me tell you this 
passage of scripture, one of my favorite passages of scripture. I have not always understood why, but even before I ever came to this site, I've loved this exchange between the Peter having a revelation of who God really was, who Jesus actually was, the son of the living God, and Jesus responding by declaring that you could not have figured this out on your own, but that he had received this revelation from the Father. But I'll tell you, when I went to this location for the first time, it was astounding. It's a remarkable location. I want to share a little bit about that uh, before I continue. This location is Caesarea Philippi, and there's this incredible um rock structure. It would be a, a mountain, but it's all stone rock. Uh, it's not like the mountains here in California where it uh, has dirt. It's stone. It's a rock structure with caverns and different things. But there's a couple of things I want to point out to you. One is this location was a place of great darkness. This was not a, a location in Israel where good Jewish boys and girls would frequent. There was a lot of darkness in this region. In fact, there was a location where there was a worship to false gods. It, specifically in Jesus' time, there was worship to the god of Pan. And it, it was a mythological creature uh, that was worshipped, really a demon that was worshipped. And the, the type of worship that they did there at that site included horrific things of great sexual perversion, immorality, sacrifice, blood sacrifice. I, I've heard that they uh, sacrificed children. There's deep caverns where they would, they called it the gates of Hades. It was literally a location that was referred to as the gates of Hades and they would uh, sacrifice, it said, uh, children or others uh, into this cavern. And so it's a very dark, dark spiritual place. But there's also this incredible reality that there's water that flows like rushes through so it, it some of the times i've been there a couple of times and in some seasons of being there there's a lot of water flowing and in other seasons it's pretty dry israel is a desert so water is precious and it is not just everywhere but it, this is a unique location because the water that is fl flooding through these this rock structure it's literally flushing through um this area is coming not from wells being dug. It's coming from atop of Mount Edmon or Mount Hermon. And it's from the snow up there and it melts and it so much water comes down that begins to flood through. And it's really quite uh, amazing the way this water comes through with uh, in some seasons with tremendous force. Other seasons it's drier. The reason I share that with you is because while I was there seven years ago and received this word that I'm going to share with you uh, from the Lord regarding the rock and those connected to the rock, it was a year where there was a lot of uh, water flooding through there. And so I began to think of another passage out of Ezekiel. There's a passage in Ezekiel 47 where the prophet Ezekiel is seeing a vision and it, it says this in verse 8. Uh, so an angel is showing him a vision of a future location uh, where the temple would be built and different things. And it says, then he said to me, this water flows. Let me, let me back up to verse 7. It says, when I returned there along the bank of the river, were very many trees on one side and the other. Then he said to me, this water flows toward the eastern region, goes down into the valley and enters the sea. When it reaches the sea, its waters are healed. And it shall be that every living thing that moves wherever the waters or rivers go will live. There will be a very great multitude of fish because these waters go there for they will be healed and everything will live wherever the river goes. Listen, these waters, I believe as I was standing there, the Lord began to show me like the waters that flow from atop Mount Hermon and, and find a way to break through this incredible rock structure. These waters flow and they bring life everywhere. This area of Caesarea Philippi has all kinds of lush greenery, very unlike most of Israel. Most of Israel is a desert. It's very uh, dry, but yet this area naturally has all this greenery well these waters flow from on high so understanding that visual backdrop i want to share with you this word of the lord that i first was given may 7th this day 
2013. And I sent an email to Pastor Jerry from Israel. I'm not going to read the whole email, but I want to get to the parts uh, where I'm describing to him what I saw. It says, On May 7th, I was in Caesarea Philippi. I am still flooded with the images that I saw there. I am certain you have seen this place, we're talking to Pastor Jerry, and know that you are aware of the transaction of faith which occurred in this place. Peter declaring with his mouth that Jesus is the Christ, releasing the confession officially into the earth. Jesus declaring and releasing the reality that he would build his church and that the gates of hell would not prevail against it. Releasing the keys of the kingdom into the earthly realm with that backdrop and the dramatic visual impact, I want to share with you how I was overwhelmingly taken with a picture of what, the, what God is going to do through the rock. And then this is the, the imagery that I share with him. And I want you to listen to this word. You may think, well, how does this impact you? I believe that God is releasing this flood, this river, these waters from on high, and is going to flood your life. And he's going to do miracles through you because that's what God does. He takes people and he changes their life. He anoints us. He comes upon us and brings forth his amazing life in us and through us. Looking at this amazing structure of rock made up of many layers of rock that make up the whole reminds me of what Peter, which means the rock, said of us. He said, we, like living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Christ Jesus. Seeing, hearing, and touching the streams of water gushing out of the rocky terrain and realizing, unlike water from a well, which must be dug or worked for, these waters rush forth from high atop Mount Hermon. These waters make their way and spring forth with amazing clarity, life, and power. Amazing that in this desert land, this source of refreshment and life is coming forth without effort. I know that the Lord once again spoke to me and said, I am building my unstoppable spirit-filled church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. The limitations of our natural lives will not overcome the building of the church Jesus is building. The Lord also reminded me of Psalm 78, 16, and it says this, He also brought streams out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. As I beheld these streams from Mount Hermon pouring out of this mountain of rocks, I could clearly see the picture of the rock in this season. He is bringing streams out of the rock and causing waters to run down like rivers. These rivers will be living waters that will bring health to all who come near it. I made this note in my email, it says, through rock groups. And I make a reference to Ezekiel 47. This is where I read about the waters that brought healing wherever they went. The healing waters that will flow will not be dug up. They will flow from on high and will spring up from all directions around us. He will manifest these springs supernaturally as we walk in faith and obedience to the word of the Lord for this season. Let me tell you, God is releasing these waters like a flash flood into all of those that have come together in this season. I believe the Lord is saying that, you know, years ago he said, mark my words, Monica. He says this to me to say, mark it, meaning write it down because you will see a fulfillment of those words. I declare to you that on this day, May 7th, 2020, the Lord is releasing a flash flood of these rivers of water that flow from on high. You can't d dig them up. You can't work for them. It's not going to be by the sweat of our hard work. It's going to be by the provision and power of God. These waters are going to come and they come rushing through your life. I declare this, that ho house churches are going to open up all over the place. And in these places, healing Healing is going to flow in powerful ways. There was more that the Lord spoke to me about 
these places. Let me share that with you. It said this, it goes on and says this. There will be the anointing which is upon you, talking to Pastor Jerry, for this season, you will see these streams of living water like a flash flood begin to flow all over the place through people and places unexpected. These streams will draw people from all over. They will come to the rivers and waters of life. There will be super abundant fruitfulness because people need ministry and the church Jesus is building ministers to the people and they are healed, set free, recovered, renewed, and released. The word of the Lord cannot be attained through natural means, but for those who hear the word and fear the Lord, these will be those who take the land for the Lord. The trusted strongholds will be taken for they are his and we will take them in his name. We will arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. Listen, this is the day that this word that was spoken to me over seven years ago in a location with a powerful visuals. You know, I can still see it as clearly today as I did seven years ago, but I feel the force of the spirit upon me today, releasing it to you. You you know, whatsoever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So I loose the reality of this word upon your life. You are one of those streams flowing out of the rock in whatever form, whether you're a part of our rock congregations, any one of them, if, whether you're just attached through media and social, uh, solid lives ministry, there's some way that God has brought you to us and God is now going to cause ministry to flow out of you. You are a stream flowing out of the rock and the power of God is going to be upon you. Your family is going to be changed forever. Your finances are going to be changed forever. Your life is going to be changed forever as God releases the power of his spirit over you in Jesus name. Hi, I'm Jerry Dearman. Thank you for watching today. To not miss out on any of our videos, you can subscribe by clicking here or to watch another video, you can click here. Go ahead, pick one.